everyone, this is Kate Schwenke and I have a new review and packing video for you guys today. Today I am doing a review and packing video for the Jujube Mini Light, And that would be the bag on the left here in iconic print. This is the same bag that I got in my Laura's Little Boutique box a few weeks ago. And I sent it off to my friend Kara to Mini. And she has a shop called In The 301 that I will link for you guys in the description box below. I have been using this bag for about a week and a half and I absolutely love it. And I think I might even love it a little bit more than the Be Light, um, as a purse anyways. The Be Light still works really, really great as a diaper bag. The Mini Be Light works amazing as a purse and that's how I've been using it. And I've also been using it as a daycare bag. But today I'm going to show you how I pack it up as a purse for myself when I'm out and about. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you guys here, what you're seeing now is the GGB Be Light versus the Mini Light. And as you can see, the Be Light is a few inches longer. It's actually three and a half inches longer on the bottom than my Mini Be Light. That was taken up by three and a half inches. I measured it with a measuring stick, so I know for sure. <laughs> the only differences that I had her make were the adjustments on the very bottom. Um, I left the straps the same length and I haven't had any issues with that. I love how long they are still. Um, you can get them shortened a little bit and that people might like that a little bit better. You can still wear the bag with a messenger strap, which is great. The zipper pocket on the inside is still the same size. So really the only difference is that she took it up from the bottom. And I will go ahead and show you a little bit more detail of the bag in just a second. So this is my Mini Be Light. Um, I don't have anything in it right now. I don't even have D-rings added on yet. I do plan to put those on soon because I would love to wear this bag crossbody. So this is my print placement. As I just said, I did get this bag from Laura's Little Boutique and I was able to pick my print placement on the front and the back of the bag. Um, the back is absolutely adorable. It's got my Donatella right here and right here. And I've got Kaiju, and Sandy's ears are cut off, so it's perfect for me. And I have Donatella right here, exactly where I wanted her. So, and I just, I really, really love the print placement, especially with um, where Kara actually chopped it off on the bottom here. Um, it cut off Papa Lion's head too, and he's not my favorite either. So all I have are his ears showing, and I really, really love that. Um, I do have Sandy on the bottom a little bit, but that doesn't bother me at all. I don't look at the bottom of my bag anyways, but just look how great of a job she did. On the corners, it, it looks exactly like the way Jujubee would make this bag, and I really, really hope that they do at some point because this is such a great bag. It has the exact same shape on the bottom as the Be Light does, it's just shorter. So that is really the only difference that she made to my bag. Like I said, you could get the strap shortened a little bit. I think she takes them in up about two inches um, or however short you want them to be, but I really prefer this length. I never had a problem using them when I have my Be Light with me, so I thought, hey, I'll just keep them the same length, and I have been very, very happy with this bag. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how she did the inside as well. So this is the very bottom. This zipper pocket back here is exactly the same size, same length and everything. So that's really the only differences, but it makes such a big difference in the way a bag carries. And like I'm going to show you in my video in just a minute, um, how I pack this up, it's so much better um, as a purse than the regular Be Light. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that next. So this is the packing portion of this video, and I have the mini Jujubee Be Light packed up as a purse for myself. So if I'm going out alone, or if I'm going out on a date with my husband, this makes a really, really cute date night bag. So I'm going to start out with these two front pockets here and show you what I have in there, and then I'm going to raise the camera up so you guys can see the inside better. So the very front pocket here on the right, I have a small set piece in Perky Toki, and in here I just have a travel charger for my phone. This thing is really great, it charges my phone up super fast, so if I'm out and I don't have enough power on my phone, I'll just plug this into my phone, and it works great. So this, as you can see, the small set piece is like the perfect size to fit in this very front pocket here. On the other side here, I have my cell phone. This is an iPhone 6, and I just have it in a regular slim case, and that fits in here great. As you can see, you can't even see the phone. So that's a perfect pocket for your phone. There's no other pockets on the very back. 
It's just really, really cute print placement. <laughs> so there you go. I'm going to go ahead and raise up the camera for you guys. So this is how I have the Mini Be Light organized on the inside. I have an Incio Sima organizer. This is called a bag and bag organizer. It's amazing. Um, I've done a review on it for you guys before, so if you guys want to go check that out, it's a great organizer and it actually fits perfectly in the Mini Be Light and also fits perfectly in the Hobo Bee, the regular Be Light, the Mini Bee. I've tried it in all kinds of different Juju Bee bags and this bag fits amazing in all of them. So it's a really great investment. I suggest that if you're going to get a Mini Be Light that you get some sort of organizer for your bag um, just so that things aren't all mixed up and crazy inside. So for the actual organizer, um, I did not put anything in the very front pockets on any of this um, or on the very back. There's some great organization in this, but I only utilized the inside part for this video. The only thing on the outside that I utilized was this key ring that is attached to the inside of the bag on the front pocket here. I use that for my keys. The B light does not come with a key fob. Um, so you kind of are stuck with having your keys rolling around in your bag or in your front pockets. If you don't have an organizer with something like this attached to it, then your keys will be harder to find. But I really, really love that they have this in here. It makes it easy to find my keys. I'm not digging around for them. So on to the actual organization. The, um, I did use the inside pocket here on the very back of this bag, which is actually the exact same size as it was before it got minied, so it's amazing. In here I just have a bunch of coupons. These are Target coupons that I may or may not use next time I go. So I have those in the back pocket there. On the inside here, I have my sunglasses over here. There's a lot of little pockets in this organizer, so I have my sunglasses over here. In this pocket here I have some hand sanitizer spray by The Honest Company. I have some gum. It's a really good gum too. <laughs> I have my Inseal coin purse, and I love this coin purse. Amazing. I, it's so soft. Love it. In here, I just have some punch cards and insurance cards and things like that. And I have change in the back pocket here. So I'm already through three of the pockets over here. I can actually change this around so we can see the other side. On this side here, I left this pocket empty. In this one here, I have my custom-made tissue holder made by Little E Design on Etsy. It's super cute. I use this thing all the time. It has to go with me everywhere. On this pocket here, these three pockets here are actually pretty good size. So I was even able to fit a small set piece in the Empress over there. And this just has stuff for me. It has lip gloss in here. I have an EOS stick. I have some eye drops. A folding hairbrush. And a little mirror in the Perky Toki print with Donatella. And this is made by Deliriously Mine. Love this thing, so cute. Oh, there's the other key ring. This, this inside pocket here has a key ring as well. So all that's left to go through are the two middle things here. I have my little planner here. This is a Love Doki planner with my cute little fob by Andrea. Love this, it's so pretty. I can't wait to review it. <laughs> but I have a, uh, this is a personal size planner and that fits right in the middle there. Next to that, I just have my Kate Spade wallet. This is a full-size wallet. And so that is all that I have in this bag, packed as a purse. So it's really, really great though, guys. This is um, a really, really great option to use as a purse or a date night bag or just when you're out by yourself. It's, it's really cute, and I highly suggest that you get one made. Um, I'm actually probably going to have a few more made because they are so perfect for my needs when I'm out and about by myself and I'll probably get more Tokidoki ones made because they're just so cute. <laughs> but anyways, I hope this review was helpful for you and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please keep an eye out for my on the body video that's coming later this week and thanks for watching.